what is going on guys today is sunday november what is it 23rd or 24th i'm not sure but what that means is i'm here at winterfest this is my very first time ever at this event and the park looks beautiful from the outside so let's go ahead and get inside all right just look at that absolutely beautiful i'm here to see what everything the park or not everything probably but what the park has on offer for this winterfest event and i am so excited look at that I'm in a coat right now, which is so rare for when I come to this park. And I'm also in gloves, so there's a little less vlog clips because I don't feel like taking my gloves off. But look at this. This is just the entrance street right here, and can't wait to get in the park. Wow, just look at that. And over here, these reindeer up here, that's just a great touch. Now, I was just going to film to, you know, vertigo over here, show off the little lights at the front, but they have a new policy. You don't have to take anything out of your pockets. And you basically just walk through, so I'm not sure what the theory behind that is, but we're going to go inside the park now. I am already in awe, if you guys can hear me with all this music, just at all the lights of how trans or how International Street has changed. I've been here over 15 times probably this year, and to see it in Christmas mode, just all beautiful and changed, is absolutely amazing. All right, so we are in the park now, and freezing, I might add, absolutely freezing. Just wash my hands in the bathroom, and it feels like it's freezing on my hand right now, but... We've got lots of ice skating, which I would love to do that one day, but I don't think today is going to be the day. We are heading up International Street. All these lights, I didn't want to vlog this much, but there's so much stuff, and people in costumes. Look at this. Oh, I can't turn it around, but we'll see as he walks by. Dang, you couldn't even see much of what that was, but... I don't know what it was either, to be honest, but we're gonna head towards Mystic Timbers and see what we got going on. I cannot walk five feet without seeing something that is so amazing to me. Just wanna pull out my phone and show you guys. Just look at all these Christmas trees. I've been in this path so many times to get to Mystic Timbers and Diamondback right after early entry, but now I'm really enjoying all of it. Like, just look at this. Absolutely amazing. It would've been cool if they left Diamondback's lights on, but... You can see Mystics in the background out there. It is absolutely beautiful. Still not the number one <laughs> uh, child's place in the world, but wow. Amazing. What the amazing job they've done with these de decorations. I mean, I could just sit here <laughs> and look at that all day. Absolutely beautiful job. Now we're over in this section of the park to take care of two orders of business, or at least the ones that I know of. I'd like to try to get Mystic Timbers in, and I can hear the train over there. The station is over to the left of Mystic's exit, so hopefully we can get a train ride on as well. Okay, so you can see this line for the train over here, which worries me a little bit because I really want to do that. But not a bad line at all for Mystic Timbers. There it goes. Not bad at all. You can see the touches they even put in on the station. The garland on the top. Beautiful, beautiful event they're throwing on here. We'll get some quick footage of our good friend Coaster Media over there. Not this guy, where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> he was waiting for it. Alright, so I've just had my first Winterfest ride on Mystic Timbers. That was really good. It's dark and you can see the Christmas tree lights for the train, which we're going to do next. Oh, so, no, looking at this line, but still doesn't do as much in the airtime department as I would like. It's still a good ride. There's anti-rollbacks actually going into the break run. I heard it in the line and I was like, that doesn't sound too good, but I guess they put that on there so that it doesn't value again. So there are anti-rollbacks now on Mystic's uh, going into the breaks. I might wait around to catch a train to show you guys that. All right, they should be coming back now, and hopefully this loud train doesn't ruin it. You won't be able to see the train fully, but you should, you should be able to hear the anti-rollbacks. Should be coming here soon. There it is. Yep. Definitely anti-rollbacks on that now. All right, so they've repurposed White Waters, which is where Thomas used to work, to the 12 Days of Christmas train queue. Can't wait to do this. The train holds more people than we can fit the station. <laughs> Oh wow, now I see what the theme of this is. Wow, 
They have all of the 12? That's what this is called? Okay. I feel sort of stupid, but... Wow. Oh wow, it's on both sides. Got Mystic Timbers drop right there. Looking good. Put the rest of the park behind us. Got diving back sitting dormant over here. I'm trying to figure out how much of this I want to record. It's, it's not the longest train ride, but it's definitely not the shortest. Uh -oh. Oh wow, five golden rings, there it is. Oh wow. We're slowing down, not too sure why, but... Wow, beautiful. I'm already uncomfortably cold in this train, but we are rounding Soak City, which is cold because I couldn't imagine how uncomfortable I'd be. There's one of my, one of the only slides I've been on at Kings Island Soak City, actually, the twisted one. But yeah, we're coming around the Soak City exit and we're going to head back that way. There's a water slide there. And I'll catch you when we get back. I think I put in enough footage. I just don't want to bore too many people. Sorry if you're bored, but I figured I would showcase, you know, everything they're doing here. They just changed the music to Frosty the Snowman, and look what animatronics, or not animatronics, but look what we have to the side of us. Very, very cool idea. It doesn't time up too well because I do believe they're trying to run this train on, on at least as big as a capacity as they can. They said they could fit 400, so it is a long time, so it's not going to match up with everybody. But, see, it's leading the way. We should be coming around back to the station shortly see the lights there. Those are the same ones that I was talking about at mid-September. Oh, there's a car. Theming. <laughs> there they go. Alright, I've just had an amazing front row ride on Mystic Timbers. Honestly, that was probably the best ride I've ever had on it. For Mystic Timbers in the front, that it is, the airtime's always better in the front, but that was hitting on all cylinders for a front row ride at Mystic T Timbers level, of course. That was amazing. It was pitch black. I honestly wish they would have kept the better night ride open. Here comes the train behind me. Cannot get that in the shot. Oh, there it is. Put it down a little. Oh, that's a bright light coming, but yeah. Let's go ahead and walk around to the rest of the park. Excited to see Orion as well as the other lights around the park. So apparently, <laughs> this game now has a microphone now and it's low key annoying. Ruins this whole midway almost, but I, I haven't been putting much face cam in because I've just been filming how much effort Kings Island truly put into this amazing experience now. <laughs> Trust me, I wish I could walk to the right and get an amazing night road ride on that. But just look at this. I can't not be wowed by it at all. But let's go back towards Vortex and Orion and see what's happening there. Oh, come on now. Kings Island. This is so beautiful, honestly. I'm probably gonna just record myself walking through it as I'm getting mesmerized by everything around me. Wow. She's still standing, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, wonder if they could have kept that open during Winterfest, but just look at this. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see the Coney Mall section of the park. I'm gonna try to get food, not too sure where yet, but it's probably Coney Barbecue or Chicken Shack. While I was recording that clip, I walked right past these guys, didn't even know about it. You can see them in costume. I'm guessing there's a photo opportunity there, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. 
if that person works for Kings Island, I might have them take a picture of me. And there's one in an ice chair over here. Let's check out Vortex after we take a look at this thing. I'm gonna try to get closer up to Flight of Fear maybe, but she's looking good. The overbank that's been built can see the white support over there. But here is a beauty. But they even left the beast lights on. That makes me upset. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, and now they're singing to me, but here's Vortex in his dormant state. As if there weren't enough Christmas trees. Honestly, it's just so beautiful. Let me turn it around here. They've done so much around the Vortex and Windseeker area, but I didn't walk over there. You can ride on a horse, or not on a horse, but in the carriage if you want. But just so much detail into this event. And let's walk over towards Flight of Fear and get another view of Orion and then probably make our way towards the exit. Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. I thought Flight of Fear was open during Winterfest, but apparently not. So the closest view of Orion we can get is right here. But look at her. But that, I don't, was that changed? I could have sworn Flight of Fear was open last year. Please somebody let me know, but let's walk through the rest of the area. I know there's a lot of trees over near the Banshee area and like that. So let's take a look at that and make our way out. I haven't been doing much face cam again because I've been showcasing all this, but just look at it. Absolutely amazing. And I feel like I can't walk by it without filming it just because it's that pretty and I feel like they put that much work into it. Let's look over here by Racer. See, they've got some theming over there around Racer and some trees like that. Wish they could have kept Racer open, but hey, it is what it is. Dang, so Mystic's the only roller coaster open now. Didn't know that, but let's head around, get some food, and look at some lights. The Coca Cola Polar Bear. Sponsored by Coca Cola. Hey, there's a little there's a little zone right here. And a DJ. Have some fun, dance the night away. Wow. Here's the Coca Cola Polar Party Zone. Yeah, that. Whatever, that's cool. <laughs> We're gonna head this way towards Banshee. Oh, wait, can I get a drink in here? Possibly. I really shouldn't be getting a cold drink, but I'm gonna try it. All right, unfortunately, the best coaster here, at least right now, is sitting dormant. Just look at all there's a fire pit over there. Zoom in on that. I think they really did an amazing job putting up enough lights to sort of, you know, conceal the fact that this big ride here is just not operating. You know, we can't get on it, unfortunately. And they have so many lights to almost sort of distract from that. I think they've done a great job. But I'll talk more about that when I wrap up my final thoughts on the event. Did select Chicken Shack for the meal, as you can see. Just waiting on some sauce. We'll be able to go out and leave the park. Oh, no way. I might have to do this. I did not see that you could do this, otherwise I definitely would have. Oh my goodness, no, because now I have food. But anyways, I've always had good experience with the Chicken Shack, but I don't know what this is. It looks like ketchup and mayonnaise mixed, and I asked for house sauce, and I pointed it out to him, and I said, that's all we've got for now. I was like, what? So that's a little bit ridiculous, but we are gonna be exiting the park, and I'll give my thoughts on this event. All right, we are now outside of the park, and I do not know where my car is, which means, unluckily for you guys, a lot of time to hear me talk about my day went. No, I'm just kidding. Our, our night, what, or about the last part, I do actually not know where my car is. But, just a general review, absolutely amazing. Just walking in and feeling the atmosphere. That was my main, you know, thing I wanted to come and see tonight. Because my, I'm from Columbus, and our zoo does zoo lights for um, the winter holiday. And, honestly, this blew that out of the water the train ride you know it was all right it was very cool though not my thing though i could see it's definitely more for families you know things like that also two good rides on mystic timbers so with that an amazing winter festive event honestly i'll probably be back here we've got our chicken shack as well so <laughs> might come back just for some food but with that that'll end this vlog be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one follow the instagram too if you want like live updates from when i'm here and stuff so i'll see you guys in the next one can you catch me now? Oh.